Hi, I'm Susan Budge, one of the co-founders and president of Cumulink Designs. And in this video, I wanna personally give you a demonstration of the Play to Create system for card making. Now, card making is a wonderful hobby. It's something that not only will bring you joy and have that creative fulfillment by creating something with your hands, but also to the person that you give that card to. So it's a wonderful hobby and it can be really simple. And so I just wanna give you a quick demonstration of how simple it can be to create handmade cards. Now to start off with, we're gonna design on top of this card base. Now I am going to be designing a traditional card size, which is five and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches long. And then of course you just fold that over, which creates a card base for you to use for your card. Also the great thing about this size is that it works with a lot of envelopes, so it's really easy to find um, envelopes to fit for this size, but you can design four by four cards, you can design six by six cards, whatever you want to design. There's a lot of different options and, a lot, and it can be a lot of fun. Now I am going to be using some designer templates from our Frolic Tiny Border Set and our Springtime, our Tiny Springtime Set. And the way that the Play to Create system works is we design first, so it allows you just to just basically play. And keep that in mind, really you want to play and you just wanna play and create and you can layer them together and it can be a lot of fun. Now, since I am doing a five and a half inch card, um, then I would just go to the five and a half inch mark and that's what I will know um, to use in my design. You have extra so that if you want to do a six inch card, you have that option. So you can go from five and a half to five to four to three. And those marks are all marked here on the card borders. So it's really easy to just change up the design and play to create something else. So I always recommend that you just play for, I don't know, two to five minutes and just see what you can come up with and then choose one of the designs that you like the most of what you've played with. Um, and so you just keep playing with the designer templates. I'm gonna play around really fast with Frolic 2A and 2B. And we can give, um, we can do like just one design here at the bottom, for example. And then maybe we wanna throw the flower in. We can have it kind of tucked behind like so. And then maybe add in another layer on the top. And that can be really cute as well. And then if you wanted to, you can again add stickers or a sentiment um, anywhere you like on this card. So a lot of different ways that you can play to create your card. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead with this design that you see here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scraps of paper or whatever paper stash that you're working with. And so I have some fun patterns that I have here and you just line it up. And since I was only doing five and a half inches, I'm just gonna go to that five and a half inch and I'm gonna trace this border out. And once you have it traced out, you of course can replace it um, you would ink the edges, which I'll go ahead and do really fast just so that we can see that finished look. And it really makes it um, come together and helps give that nice, hides up any blemishes, imperfections. So again, if you want to check out a video to learn more about that, click on the one below as well. And then we're going to layer this together. And then um, you would just keep doing that. So for your accessories, I would go and trace out my accessory on whatever pattern paper that I'm working with. So I'm just gonna trace it out of that green so that it really pops. Take my bottom layer and then I trace out the next piece. Now, if you would like, you can take a picture of your design before you start moving the pieces, maybe like with your phone or something so that you use it as a reference. I have seen others do that. Now, if that's personally something that would be helpful for you, then I recommend doing that. And then of course you always just Cut that right out of that piece of paper, detach it, and then I just cut that design out. And first I'm gonna go around the edges really fast, and then I'm gonna go inside each of those petals. And then you just go one way. Well, this is how I do it. When I'm cutting out more of these circular shapes, then I just tend to cut one way, and then I'm gonna go back the other way. And again, if you are not exactly on that pencil line, um, I promise that inking is magical. <laughs> it hides it all. So you'll just want to ink those edges, um, which honestly just give it that nice finished look anyways. So personally, I inked everything. Um, whether it's hand cut or not, I add a little ink to it. Okay, so let me go ahead and ink those edges. 
and then I'm just gonna add a little ink. And using the dauber really helps with these smaller designs um, as well. Okay, and then we'll add that. And then of course you would do that with the next layer. Um, well, for as many layers as that you would like. Now, if you are a card maker, but you love to stamp, then I wanna show you something else that's great about the designer templates. They are clear, so if say you had stamped on a piece of paper, so like I did here, I just stamped on best wishes, and then the designer templates are clear, so if we wanted to add, say, this little design to our card with a stamp, or however you wanna add that to your card, basically what we would do is we would just place it right over, um, and then we can adjust it and align it as we'd like. You can see through the designer template and then you could trace and of course cut that out. So you could add that to your card and then of course we would want to um, trace out our other flowers. So let me go ahead and do that really fast. That way we can add that to our card as well. And then we're done. We just created a card from start to finish. We used very minimal scraps of paper um, and of course they ended up being just really nice clean look. So um, a lot of things that you can build on top of this too. So we always say that the designer templates play friendly with other products. So your stamps or your stencils or your glitter or whatever else that you want to embellish up on your cards, then by all means just play and have fun. Okay, so I just cut that out. I'll probably add, I don't know, a little circle or a button in there in the middle there. Um, and honestly, I think the way that we designed it, we had this one behind and allowing that border to kind of peek through just a little bit more and then that one layered on top and then we could place that down here or something like that. So really simple and easy to do. Um, and then of course you just adhere it down um, to your card base. I hope that this has inspired you to pull out your paper stash or your stashes of paper, or maybe you're just a beginner getting started with card making. It's really not that complicated. With a basic, few basic tools, you can create some really cute cards to give to those that you care about and that you are thinking about. And thank you so much for watching.